Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. Today we will learn about how to test Angular applications from the command line interface. For this tutorial, we are running on Angular 8, but the same applies and is valid for any Angular version about 2, 4, 5, or 6, or 8. So let's get started with how to test our Angular applications. So we will be Angular provide Angular CLI provides us tools and commands that we can run to test our applications. The test includes both unit testing as well as end-to-end -end testing. We write our Angular tests using Jasmine and Karma. Again, these are the default uh, libraries that are provided. We can always extend and write our test in any other frameworks like Jest or SignOn or any other framework that you prefer. Inside Angular, to run the unit test, we will use the command ng test. By running ng test command, we will be able to test our Angular application's unit tests. If we want to see the unit test coverage report, we can always run the command ng test with an option hyphen hyphen code coverage. And if you are specially running your tests in production environment, you can also set the flag hyphen hyphen prod option to true. Let's get started to see how to run this. I have, I'm continuing to build on our previous application that we saw, and we will just use this for our learning in this video as well. If you have not checked out our previous videos, please do. And for real time help, for any of any clarifications or any help, please do subscribe the channel and drop your comments or queries in the comments below. All right, so I told you the command to test Angular applications unit testing is ng space test. <clears throat> so once you run this command, okay, so it says we have to be in the Angular project. So let's go inside the Angular project and run the command again. So this will run the all the spec files. So when you see in your project directory, you would see dot spec dot ts files. These are your test files. So it would open up the browser, a new one, and it would using Jasmine tests and Karma Runner, it would run the tests and it would show you the report. <clears throat> so here it says it has failed. So we can, it, it shows the test results and it exactly shows you which one has failed. So this is the report of running the current application as it is. So if we want to go ahead and fix them, Let's fix that one by one. It says app menu is not a known element. If app menu is an Angular element component, please verify it's part of the module. So we will fix these in a while. Uh, but for now, just learn. Let's learn how to run them first. So th this is how we will run our application. If you want to close the termination, close it. So we learned that we can run the test using ng space test. Now to do that. You open your package.json file and you would see that this is the command that you can also run using npm. So these are the commands I can say npm run test. This would again, if you see, is running ng test, which is this command. We can extend our command and include along with test coverage or we want to run it or not. So we'll see that in just a bit. But just so you know, the command to run to test your unit test is ng space test, or you can run npm npm run test command. So when we do that, it shows us right in the console and it does not open the browser. So this is called headless execution. Now I'm going to add one more test and I want to see the test coverage report. So you can always say test hyphen or the best way to do is coverage. So I'm building, I'm adding a new script and I'm saying, and it should do code hyphen coverage equal to true. <coughs> and let's end this here. So now this is correct. Let's save our package.json file. This was our result. So now let's, we have for, to run this particular new set of command that we just added. Again, we can 
directly right here issue command and say code coverage equal to true and we should we will see new report here in the folder let this run for a while it's compiling all right again it will open the jasmine uh, karma runner and run the scripts using the browser locally in most real time applications it has to run in your build pipeline which means there is no interface to it so that's where we will run using npm run all right so let's close this and coverage get the coverage report so now you would see a new folder was created called coverage and it would have your index.file not html file go ahead open it and you should see that <clears throat> this would have our coverage covered so let's if you want to quickly check it out you go to agile board and then go to coverage and then agile board and index.html open with chrome browser and that's where you would see the result of our unit test scripts so this is how uh, we can also run to get the test coverage this is the ng space test hyphen code coverage alternatively you can add a command in your package.json file to run it and to do that we can just say npm run test colon coverage it's exactly same it would also trigger and call the same command this is how we will run our unit script test scripts in angular application now if we want to set similarly if you want to set and run in production environment the command you would we will use is test prod and then again you we will issue the command test hyphen hyphen prod equal to true so this will run in production mode and will take the configuration accordingly of the environment and run it alternatively you we can issue the command here in the console command line terminal and say hyphen ng space test space hyphen hyphen prod equal to true all right so now <clears throat> for the next part uh, this is to test the end-to-end -end tests so end-to-end -to -end tests are run using protractor framework by default in angular any installed application that you have cloned but we can also again we can also use any other framework to use it or to extend it um, using any other framework that we want <clears throat> to run the end-to-end -end tests we will use the option ng e2e ng space e2e tells that we have to run all the e2e scripts now we can also specify any certain test that you want to run using ng space e2e space hyphen hyphen specs so you can specify which files or which spec files you want to run there are certain options you can also use like enabling a post particular port you want to test on for example you want to build all your applications on default port 4200 for running tests end to end test you can use any other port like 3100 again to specify if it's in production environment just go ahead and use hyphen hyphen prod equal to true option let's see this in action so just so we are clear when we say <clears throat> running in ng e2e it would go into the end-to-end -end directory folder and then source and then run these spec files when we say ng test it would run the spec files which are inside the source application that's the difference between e2e and source so let's quickly issue that command and we will say ng e2e now this will run all the tests which are inside the e2e folder using the chrome driver and internally it will compile and give the report out <coughs> it will take a while just a minute but in the meanwhile friends please do subscribe to keep supporting me i'll keep bringing new angular and other web technology tutorials for you for free of cost so once the application is compiled it will again open up the karma runner and run the prototype and will give you the report that one has failed so we can see that it has run the report and it tells that there is 
executed one out of one spec and one failed. That one spec is this app.e2e.spec.ts. So this is how we will run our ng. Uh, we can also create a, okay, it's already here. But like I said, if you want to run on a certain port, you can say e2e colon prod. And then again, you can set the environment details and say prod equal to true. Or you can say port, etc. So this you can extend or customize and then use npm run e to e space prod command. It would run in production equal to true mode. You can similarly, you can set hyphen hyphen port. So now this would run on port number 3100. So this is how we will test Angular applications. Again, friends, uh, that's all for today on this particular episode, but uh, stay tuned for more. As usual, please do subscribe to my channel to get free help and advice. If you are stuck anywhere, if you need any particular help, feel free to drop in your queries in the comments below. I will help you out. Thank you so much for joining. See you next time.